Hey, it's Truck and Tank Anchor, and it is morning out here on the road. Just want to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you my coffee maker. Now, we got a contest going on right now, and uh, one of the, the prizes is a French press. Here's my French press. This is what I use out on the road every day. My French press is clean and empty right now. Now, if you notice, right here, there's a basket right there, and it's got a, a wire mesh on it. And then the top of this has got a wire mesh, so I drink directly out of this. Now, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee right in front of you. I got my coffee, I carry it with me. If you're wondering what the, what the truck and tanker yanker drinks right now, it is a caribou from Walmart, and I mix mahogany and French roast together 50-50. And I put three scoops in my cup. There's one. I like I'm a little heaping, I guess. Two. Now you can put less in if you want. I know I drink my coffee fairly strong, but I only drink one cup a day, so. It... Three. Alright. So, now. The other thing I got here is my teapot. This teapot, if you're lucky here, you got a plug-in on it. So you can plug it into your cigarette lighter, or auxiliary plug, whatever y'all call it now, and it heats the water up. And I carry my own spring water with me because when you're out on the road, you can get all different kinds of nasty water. It might be some nasty mineral water out of a well. It could be just alkali water out of a drainage ditch. You don't know what you're getting for water when you're out on the road. And some municipalities put fluoride in their water. Well, the truck and tanker anchor does have rheumatoid arthritis and fluoride hurts me. I'm just saying. I've had plenty of cortisone shots in my wrists and shoulders and things like that that I just... I just really don't enjoy paint, so I try to avoid any town that has fluoride. And the best way to do that is bring my own coffee pot, or teapot. I got water over here. Uh, I bring several gallons of water, and I use spring water. And I'm going to pour it in here until my cup, see the steam coming out, nice and hot. Pour it in there until my cup is full. Alright. Alright, it's full. As you notice, I got a pre-measured amount in because I know how much to put in there. Alright? And then, leave the stem up, basket down, and I put it in there. Push it down. It's got a gasket around the top of this thing like that. Now, you can see here that the, the stem is sticking up. And I think it's 10 minutes that they say, depending on how bad you need your coffee, I suppose. But uh, uh, I always give it 15 minutes. I like to have my coffee to have a, a good relationship with the water and get as much coffee off the coffee as possible. And in 15 minutes, I push that button all the way down and then I can start to drink it right out of my cup. Now, this cup here, I think the one that we got in the contest that we're giving away doesn't have a handle. This is my second cup. Um, I, I the plum wore out the other one, looked just like this. Red's my favorite color. It has a big old fancy handle with it. The handles seem to they got spot welds on them they break off right away and I just threw it away because it's just a lot easier to deal with this way in my Mack truck here I got a cup holder just barely fits this cup and it was gonna sit down right here and there we go all right so I carry my own coffee with me I keep it in this here Tupperware it looks like it needs to be washed real bad but just the color of coffee I keep the inside clean. I don't care what the outside looks like. Just throw it out here in my possibles bag. And uh, since I just bought some coffee here not too long ago, I got to, if you're interested in knowing what I drink, that's the caribou. Uh, that's the French roast. And I get it pre-ground so I don't, I don't have a grinder in here. And that's the mahogany. So uh, that's, that's what I drink. And I mix it 50-50. It makes a... You know, I'm not saying it's my favorite cup of coffee I ever had. Favorite cup of coffee I ever had was with the beans I roasted. And they were Nicaraguan El Recreo. And I got green beans and I roasted them myself. And I did the same thing where I roast them 
so that half of them are are uh, a dark roast like a French and half of them are a medium roast and then I mix them together that is probably the best cup of coffee I've ever had it's it, and if you put enough uh, uh, grounds in your water it comes out to be a nice strong cup of joe that uh, has got top end it's got bottom end it's got it's got uh, uh, caffeine it's got it's got it all and I drink her black um, now you can I suppose if you put stuff in your coffee I never thought about it you know when when you push your lever when you push the button down on the cup it pushes the grounds all the way to the bottom now so if you push the grounds all the way to the bottom and then you just slowly pull that back up and out then you can probably put cream and sugar and whatever else you want in there put the put the the top back on you can probably switch it around just a little bit and then just slowly it'll be harder to push your button down but you just sort of lean on it and it'll eventually go down and and then you'll have just but and then you'll have grounds in the bottom you're gonna wash it out i have one jug of water that's just for wash water and i use that every night uh when i'm getting ready for bed i get outside my truck and you know get my stuff and and i, I always dump a little water in here swish it around dump out the grounds clean up the pot because in the morning i'm not real super bright all right i do all my best thinking at night time and in the morning not a lot occurs to me so I, I don't try to leave a lot of chores for myself in the morning just just have the coffee ready pretty near to go so that way I can wake up but that's uh, that's how I deal with it so anyway that's what's for that's what we got in this um, in the contest is a French press it's a travel mug French press and that keeps my coffee hot when I push the button down here in about 15 minutes I still hardly be able to drink it in probably in an hour but uh, it keeps it hot nice and hot for several hours and lukewarm for pretty near half the day and uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's really a, a great thing and I we've got them at, at the house too big ones big French presses when we go hunting um, we take a French press with us and we use the old-fashioned tea kettle uh, you know coffee pot granite wire type just use that to heat the water up and then we got a big French press it's about that big around and about that tall like I don't know, a couple of quarts, probably half gallon size. And we probably got to make about two of those in the morning to, to get enough coffee for everybody in our family that drinks coffee. And not as many as you might think, I'm just saying. So, but uh, coffee's a big thing at our house. And, you know, that's uh, our little ranch is called the Black Coffee Ranch. You can find us on Facebook, the Black Coffee Ranch. And we got a, I think it's probably a Black Coffee Ranch uh, uh, dot com or Black Coffee Ranch and Mercantile dot com and check out some of the things my daughters sell got daughter's photographer daughter that makes a uh, uh, soap and um, different natural products uh, body care products eg clean uh, my wife sells uh, raw honey and wax and honey products and cream honey and all sorts of stuff and and if uh, montana passes uh, this bill that they're working on we'll probably be selling uh, uh, black gold barbecue sauce that is probably like nothing you ever tasted and everybody that tastes it loves it so we'll, we'll uh maybe i'll call it tangry anchor barbecue sauce i don't know we'll have to see but uh maybe that's coming up in the future anyway there you go and that's a, a quick down and dirty on my stuff <music>